Happy Sunday, everyone. Happy Sunday. Happy December the 4th. Happy uh, December the 4th. That's uh, 11 more days before Christmas. That is 15 more days before Christmas. 21 more days before Christmas. 21, yeah. Oh, that's right. Well, this is the 4th. And Christmas on the 25th. That's 21 more days. Well, since I can't count, I better let that alone. <laughs> exactly right. I thought it was, uh, what did I say? 11 more days. Yeah, that's what you said. And you said it's, uh, okay. Anyway, guys, um, welcome back to our uh, weekly meal chronicle. Not chronicle. I'm mixing up everything. I did not stay away that long again. I've been home here saying stuff, but I hadn't been in my regular positions. But uh, welcome back to our weekly meal. <laughs> and guys, let me tell you what I want to tell you um, beforehand. You know, I start doing a little preliminaries before I get into my videos and thinking I'm going to have to do nothing at the end but to end it. But now I don't start at uh, the beginning and the end chit-chatting with you guys. Because I, I just enjoy it. Put it like that. Well, guys, I just wanted to tell you this. Uh, sometime next week, I don't know when it's going to be, Tuck got a video that, I will, that I'm putting up. He will be putting up. It's those collars that I told you about. The uh, heirloom collars that uh, I was kind of chronicalizing and to see what's, what's what's with them so I can share it with you guys. I mean, I'm actually writing down a few things. Uh, you know, I told you that I, I had started them from seeds. I got them at Baker Creek, and I started them started them from seeds. And then, well, Britt and I set them out there on the table because it was warm. It was in the fall, going towards the fall or whatever it was. <laughs> and then the wind blew them all off. Oh, the wind just kept my little collars. They had to start, they had, you know, came up pretty nicely and stuff. But, you know, they wasn't ready to be um, put in a pot or uh, transferred over into uh, my grow bed. So I was like, oh my goodness. Yeah, when Chuck went out there and found them collars all broken and limp and this and that, I said, now some of them I lost, but I saved two plants. And we had a six, two six fights one. Mm hmm it was two six yeah. types of them. But then after he set them up, and I went out there and seen that it was, you know, three or four of them still hanging on. And I started to say, because well, Tuck had told me, he said, they, they, they gone, they messed up. But when I see them few little plants hanging on and all that stuff, I told him, I said, I'm going to try to save them. So what I did, I kept them in the little seed thing. I set them inside in the uh, little growth thing, whatever you call them. Little pots that they be in where you start the seeds. And I put them in the greenhouse and um, I started nursing them. I mean, I was nursing them. I gave them a little food and I kind of piped up some more dirt around them roots and stuff that was left out of them from some of the other little old bit of sails. I piped the dirt around it. And um, when I gave them, that, gave them that little food, when I went out there in a couple of days, uh, they was uh they was acting like hey it's some life here and I said oh, okay then and so I just kept nursing them and nursing them so I end up with is it four plants I got I didn't get to do what I was planning on doing because I, I was gonna let um tuck plant some out there in the uh, rear ground or what you call it earth what you planting not in a pot in the in the ground, in the ground yes. yeah in the ground that's, that's, Trying to use a fancy name, I read. But I, I was going to let him plant some of the seeds over in the ground, but he said he didn't want to. I said, well, they're located. Uh, so I went head on, and uh, when they got big enough, I uh, I mean, when I thought they was healthy enough and the roots were starting pretty good, I went, I put two out there in the grow, in the, uh, grow bed to see how... Not that they, it's not a grow bed. What is that, a raised bed? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I will leave all this stuff alone in a minute. I put two of the plants out there in the raised bed. And uh, then I put two in uh, some of the uh, grow bags inside the greenhouse. 
And they, you know, the greenhouse wouldn't seem like they, you know, they was coming along. But they still wasn't as strong as the one that I put out there in the raised bed. Now, one of them in the raised bed, I put it out a little later than I did the first one. Just to see was it going to do anything. And I seen it was a chance. And I kept, I kept, you know, nursing it and, uh, and uh, healing it up. I remember how my parents used to heal stuff up. When you heal a plant up, guys... Uh, healing the root, pulling dirt to it after I've been out there uh, a little while, just kind of break the dirt up and, and uh, heal it up. Uh, that's what my mama told me. She said that hurt, that kind of encourages the roots to get strong and just keeping the dirt loosen up around the um, your uh, plant. And so I did that. I had my little old bit of rake, little hand rake, and I was just a healing and doing all that and putting some um, plant food and stuff on them. And I was putting some of that there. I got it from over there at uh, Lowe's. And I can't think of what was the name that name of the stuff they called it. And it was in a script ball. You know, it had a pump to it. And uh, they were saying just pump it around your plants that that was easier. I was going to see how it was working. And then, I, you know, I done got the name of all this stuff, putting it down. When in probably a couple of years when I'm ready to share something with you guys. When I think I... Got it down patent. <laughs> Not no real patent, but patented. I think that when I recommend something to you guys, it's a pretty good chance. If you do it halfway right, it may work for you. You won't be losing stuff. And so I squirted some of the stuff around and then I kept it watered and all that. But let me tell you something, guys, what was funny to me. I, that fish, I've heard a lot of the gardeners on YouTube be talking about the um, 511 and the fish emotion uh especially uh the uh New Orleans gardener uh she's up in Louisiana I like listening to her but she uses that fish emotion and then she used something called super juice where she put the leaves and all of that scrapping and stuff from her garden and stuff over there and she said that would give them um a lot of uh nitrogen I think it is nitrogen you know I know uh Collets and stuff really need them leafy dash, uh, leafy stuff like that. It need the nitrogen, not so much the stuff that's gonna fly. You can start it off with it, the ones that's flowering a little bit, but um, if you put too much nitrogen to a plant, it'll have a lot of foliage and stuff. Cause I I used to um deal with some people over at the farm co-op, going over there getting flowers and uh uh plants and stuff. In, uh back here when I was uh, probably about 20 years ago or better when I used to be out there in the yard and working on it every summer I mean every spring fall whatever I just loved it so they told me a lot of the stuff that uh to do and what to use and all that that kind of stuff and I kind of remembered that and I brought it back to the four four front front and I went looking for uh, for my collars and stuff, I went looking for stuff that was going to give it some uh, nitrogen. And I had told Tucker to use it on his, but he was like, uh, you weren't so interesting, it was you like this stuff would grow automatic. I was like, mm -hmm. he, he, that's the way he plant, put it in the ground and let it go. I was like, nah, you have to put some fertilizer to this stuff. Mm, the ground, the dirt, it just ain't got it. So anyway, I did all my stuff and he see that it was coming on pretty good. And he told me to mix him up some of what you call it, potions. <laughs> mm -hmm. He said mix some new potions up. But by the time I mixed it up for his turnip, they were lost because I kept telling him to put some uh, fertilizer. I mean, put some uh, uh, whatever that you were going, whatever he was going to use for fertilizer to put it on there. And I told, then I think, did you mix up that five eleven? Yeah. Uh, he mixed up the five eleven and uh. He put that over there and it kind of yeah, revived it. Miracle growing every time. Yeah, he it kind of revived it and he then he started, you know, okay then. Cause stuff is like this. When it looked like it's not gonna do nothing or whatever, he will put a thumb down on it and let it go. But I'm about like that with anything. I'm always trying to revive something. And so anyway, he's gonna put up that video. It's just a little quick video. I was out there in the uh uh, I was out there messing around with the plants and 
pulling up some old dead uh, uh, plants and stuff. When that was we did that yesterday. Oh, yeah. yesterday. yesterday, and I told uh, Tuck, I mean, the, the, the uh, color was looking so pretty. I said, Tuck, go in and get the camera and make, let me make a quick video showing the uh, guys what that uh, color looking like, because I told you, I told them I would keep them updated on it. Okay, guys, so much for that. Hope you guys is getting ready for Christmas. I'm just about finished while Brittany was here for Thanksgiving, and she was telling me all about the whatever and this and that because I really what we do I do is for the grandkids my husband did I you know I used to have some friends and stuff they you know they had gone I would buy gifts for them and my my sisters and, and uh uh mama and all of them the ones that I would really have to do some shopping for you know they go on so we just ask each other what we want since we got such a little small circle we always get Gary's father something. And I got something in uh, in mind that I'm going to get him, but I hadn't even discussed it with Tuck yet. I thought about it when I was in him prepare my meal. And I said, I know what we can get, Dad. Because every year we always get in some kind of boots, a little jumper, a jacket, a hat, a glove. Because he liked to work out there in his yard, too. And, you know, he's an older man. So, uh... Uh, ain't so much of that stuff you can get in shirts and all that because daddy had already said <laughs> I got enough uh, shirts and shoes I won't never get able, I'll be able to wear them before I die <laughs> and he was talking about a suit to any guy I said well I don't know I swear just whatever <laughs> he was saying he had a lot of that stuff and I thought about it after he had said that because usually when the, when the kids were younger that's what we mostly gave him from the chair was a shirt or something like that on that level. So, um, anyway, guys, I'm not going to bother you too much more about the Garden Chronicle. Let me tell you what we got on the menu for today. And that's one of the things, the garden, I mean, what I got on the menu is uh, the reason I was talking about the garden. Because I think it was yesterday that Tuck got the... Uh, cabbage we only got the green part the green leaves of the cabbage from the garden and so that's what's on the menu today some food from my backyard i get so excited when i cook some oh and it be tasting so good i'm like lord i forgot how good stuff can taste when you grow it yourself i said no people is putting some powerful something 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 whatever on this on your vegetables and stuff that just make that just you forget what it actually tastes like if you were raised like, like I was back in the country. And then, you know, I say probably up in the, uh, uh, you know, the, the 70s and stuff, early parts of the 70s, you can still get something taste uh, fairly well. Well, in a way, we was the one getting it from one of the bigger grocery stores. Most of my, most of the vegetables and stuff like that, my mama went to like what we call the curd market, uh, either the corner store. And they had mostly homegrown vegetables, certain things like that from the local people in the area. And uh, so anyway, Tuck have already eaten some of the cabbage and was talking about how good they was. Yeah. So <laughs> they gonna do it. So um, I got the uh, green cabbage leaves, and it's cooked in some of my little leftover uh pieces of the ham uh, from Thanksgiving but I got the ham bone in the freezer because Brittany loves greens you know I told you that and she especially loves cabbage she can when I cook a pot she can she really eats her share of that and she just loved the way I prepare my cabbage so what I'm going to do uh, when she comes for Christmas or that day that she's going to come I'm going to get that old ham bone out and I'm going to boil and boil and get all the substance and all that. As my mama used to say, what mother used to say? The bone marrow. <laughs> I'm like, yuck, buddy. She said, get all the uh, get all the, the marrow out the bones and stuff. And she would boil it, boil and get all that damn meat and little trimmings and stuff off. And she would cook cabbage. My mama could cook the best cabbage. And she would cook a, a, a pot of cabbage. And i tell you what, it didn't last. Like we mostly would just eat cabbage. And if we, and if she, you know, fried chicken or whatever, she may have the chicken when she had a lot of us around. Uh, this it was after we was grown. And she, we, she would have the chicken gone and the cat, I mean, still over there and have uh, 
the cabbage and the cornbread will be absolutely gone. <laughs> it would be so good, guys. I just can't tell you. But anyway, um, that's what I got. The uh, green leaf cabbage. And you're going to see that again. Probably we get to share videos for Christmas after I cook the biggest of them. We just got probably, you know, just the leaves. Are, they're really nice. And then I got some uh, just regular uh, cornbread patties. And then a uh, tough on a pork chop. <laughs> and uh, we got some center cut pork chop. He had picked these pork chops up and he got them. I want to tell y'all this. They was kind of thick. The kind like we you would usually grill or whatever. And he wasn't thinking about it. The, the fried. I always get like a fourth of an inch or whatever for frying. And uh and you you sometimes you like the thin, don't you? Mm hmm Uh thin, but uh like when we grilling and something like this, uh something like that, we would get this side. But what I did guys and I, I took the flat side of my mallet, put it on some plastic uh paper, plastic wrap, and put the and pull it over on the top of it and I put my mallet in and I gave it a good uh flatten out. I flattened it out. And guys, I was the one who wanted the potato salad. Uh, that's what I'm going to have. I'm going to have some potato salad and those cabbage green cornbread and um, the sweet potato pie. Because, uh, you know, I told you guys, I don't really eat. I eat any other kind of pork, but ever since I was young, pork chop didn't like, exactly like to digest with me. And I can eat some, I can eat a piece or two of whatever now. And I can eat it, broil or grill and stuff, it won't be no problem. And then I, I was saying, maybe my mama, somebody was frying them. I too was frying it too, a little too hard, because something like his is kind of hard. And I don't like too much, no kind of meat that's supposed to be soft and juicy. I don't like it hard, but took like it is, so I fry it for two, his like it. And uh, so that's what I'm going to have for dinner. And Tuck going to have it all. <laughs> and you know, I am, I had got and yeah for dessert. I got that sweet potato pie. You know, guys, I shared it with y'all you guys in a little short video. I had made four sweet potato pies before Thanksgiving. I put all of them in the freezer and we have already eaten two. We got another one in there and we just cut this one today. And I still got how many pecan pies? About two. Yeah, I don't think. Yeah, maybe one. I mean, they just, now they really enjoyed the desserts this time, the sweet potato pies and that. Because I had told them, I said, after they had ate the second one, the viral, the second one, I said, y'all can go out there and get another. I said, I had four. You can go get another uh, a pecan pie out the freezer. I'm not trying to save it for Christmas. Then I make some fresh and make some more. Because, see, that's the way I do, guys. When I make up buttermilk pies sweet potato, and sweet potato pies, those two especially, I always fix extra to put in the freezer so we can always have even though I may not show it in in a, in a, a weekly meal a lot of times we be had pe uh, sweet potato pie or either buttermilk pie because right now just the buttermilk left I had to get a half a gallon of buttermilk to make up my egg bread for my dressing my cornbread and so all that buttermilk is left in there and nobody eat the buttermilk and cornbread like Tuck used to do a long time. Why you stop doing that? Because I ain't had it to eat. <laughs> what if you I mean about that? I oh, we had hadn't had no buttermilk. I hadn't had it to eat. If I had it, I'd eat it. But I'm talking about we, oh, well, yeah, because I try to use up the buttermilk when I get it. Because I don't, you know, like the uh, uh, grocery is too expensive to waste. Yeah, I like buttermilk and cornbread. Mm hmm. And my my parents used to eat it. His daddy eat it, and all that kind of stuff. And I, but I like buttermilk. A lot of people say they can't stand buttermilk, but I, I like buttermilk. I don't see nothing yeah, wrong. I'm with not it. talking about eating buttermilk, then eating cornbread. I'm talking about breaking the butter, the bread up, and putting it in the milk, okay. and eating it that way. Yeah, I'm probably just for in case someone was thinking different. Oh, yeah, might just say thinking different. But guys, that's it. Can you think of anything? And your teeth. Oh, <laughs> I forgot, Gary, I think you like saying that. You be waiting for me to forget that. I don't tell them I had sweet potato pies, had it in the freezer, left over from Thanksgiving. And uh, is it another one out there? Oh, that's it. Uh, it's two more that I'm not sure they're both sweet potato or not. One of them probably pecan because it's a pecan in there. 
and uh, so I don't know. It's a pecan and where? In the center. Well, sure. those two are the potatoes, I think. Oh, I thought it was because we sweet ate. Potatoes. Well, how many sweet potatoes? We didn't eat but one. Guess? We had one, and this is the second one. No, Brittany cut another pie. Oh, okay. Well, mm -hmm. Uh, she we ate she ate two pies because I asked her did she want to take one normally she would want to take one back with her but you know how everybody be riding the holidays I don't know why I be trying to watch the weights and all that uh, and don't want to eat too much I say eat what you eat whatever you go I always eat everything in moderation anyway so I always you know don't be worried about the uh, calories and stuff anyway because I'm I'm just not a Overindulger like that anyway, but I eat whatever a little bit of anything that I cook that I want to eat and all that, and then I forget about it. I'll be worried about it. I shouldn't have ate it. If you're gonna eat it, don't be saying I shouldn't have ate that and uh, uh, I ate too much and all that. Those are two statements I get so tired of anytime somebody always saying that I shouldn't have had it. I said, You're gonna bad lucky, you're gonna make sure it's still in your mind, it's gonna turn to a pound. Just say you ate it. You ask God to bless it. It was good. And I may not eat no more of it. Don't eat no more. But after you done ate it, let it alone. I just, I've had friends that used to just uh, make my real head want to cook bark while saying that junk all the time. And I start telling them, I say, oh, okay. All right. So, guys, I'm going to go ahead on. Remember to share out my video. Give me a thumbs up, guys. Y'all get back on giving me the thumbs up. And leave me a comment as to have you guys start putting up your Christmas decoration. Well, you know, I always I try to ask, ask, I mean, say something to that I'll be kind of interested in. Because I'm going to tell you now with me, well, with Tuck, he he, he the one love Christmas decoration. And I used to do it when the kids were younger. I did it. I went all out. I used to have a, a on my fireplace. I used to have a display of angels. And I got all kind of Christmas Village stuff that's out there packed up in the storage we had. I don't know how many years it been since I put up my Christmas Village. And it would be absolutely... Oh, guys, the camera cut off for a minute, so I'm, I'm over talking. I wish I could talk longer to you guys and wouldn't have to be in such a big hurry. And then when I get off, I say, oh, I forgot to say this and forgot to say that. But, you know, I got to work with my equipment and stuff. That's where I can enjoy making videos with you guys. I don't, you know, the, the equipment that these YouTube, us YouTubers use, it is expensive. And the only reason I didn't have one of the iPhones like Britney have is simply because all that stuff didn't work, didn't work out here in our area. But we done got some better internet service. And I have an iPhone. And I still don't, you know, my site ain't going to let me see how to mess with that. I said, you guys will probably get to write me comments and, and emails and stuff. I said, May May, please put that up. I want when I when I get to try to use the stuff, I'm gonna use it on. The, I you know I try to shoot videos on the camera every now and then. I don't do it uh, consistently enough that I can really learn. You know that it'll get into my get into my head. So you know when you get older, you will have to do it a bunch of times. When you were younger, you may not have to do it, but a few times. But when you get older, before you get stuff in your set, in your brain, you're going to have to have a lot of repetition. And you're still probably going to forget something. So anyway, guys, I'm going to go ahead on and end this video so you guys can enjoy the rest of your Sunday. Look like it's kind of a nice day out there. It was this morning. It was kind of foggy. But now the sun has came up and all that. And I may run down to General Dollars and kind of look around. Because I still got some time in the day. Wait before the people get out of church and cry things out. So, but guys, uh, remember what May May always tell you guys. To think positive, use your common sense, and May May love you guys. And bye. Bye, you guys. See you in my next video.